Hey everybody, Chris here, and today I want to touch on a subject that anybody who is making videos on YouTube is going to want to know about if they don't already know about this guy, Kevin McLeod, who runs IncompTech.com. Now, if you want to make videos on YouTube, there's a good chance you need to put music into your video somehow. However, most music is copyrighted. If you just put any kind of music into your video, it's going to get taken down. In the worst cases, you could even have a lawsuit filed against you for violating copyright laws. Now, some music is under a license called Creative Commons. There are different variations of it, uh, some of which do permit commercial works, others that don't. Um, I believe on IncompTech.com, what they use is Creative Commons Attribution, which is the uh, most or least restrictive, rather, form of Creative Commons licensing. Now, what this means is that whenever you are looking at music and you want to download it and use it in your video, all you need to do in order to do that legally is to go ahead and give attribution to the author of the song. And Incomp Tech is basically built 100% around this idea. He makes Creative Commons music that um, pretty much has no vocals in any of it, but it's there so that you can take it and use it in YouTube videos. Having watched a ton of YouTube, um, I would say that actually Kevin McLeod is probably the number one artist that people use as their background music in YouTube videos, especially if you're looking at gaming videos. His stuff is all over the place. Um, now, as I was mentioning earlier, it is in fact Creative Commons um, attribution. You know that because CC BY means attribution. BY is for the person. You have to tell who is doing it, who is the author, who is it BY. That's why they abbreviate it like that. So whenever you find a song on IncompTech.com and you want to use it in one of your, of your videos, um, you search through the system. You find the, so the song. You can listen to it um, just by hitting the listen button. Um, and then when you find a song you actually want, you click the more button and it's going to give you the text you need to put into your video if you want to attribute it properly to the creator, Kevin McLeod. So if you want to use this Mystic Force song, you go ahead, find it, hit more, copy and paste this information into your uh, video. Now you can use multiple um, you can of course use multiple songs in one video if you have a really long video there's no restrictions on that and what's really great about this is not only that you can legally use it in your videos and even monetize it if you want but he has a lot of different genres and it's all pretty much background music so if we go to royalty free music and hit full search you can see that you can filter by a lot of, dif of different genres and different feels um, the genre, of course, is going to be the type of music, and the feel is going to be more of the emotions that it kind of provokes in people. Is it going to be a song that's really scary, that's humorous, um, that makes you feel like you're in the action, like if there's an action scene, kind of like an action movie going on. So you can filter through this. Um, either selecting a genre or checking some of the feels like okay maybe you're looking for driving action music so you check those two hit search and then it's going to give you a list of all of the songs that fit those categories you can see driving an action driving an action so it needs to meet all of the requirements if you check by feel but even even for driving an action where it has two requirements there's six pages of different songs there if we just put in something like, uh, let's say, electronica music, it, I can't even imagine how many pages. There's a lot that he uses. Uh, well, nine pages. There's still a lot of different soundtracks you can use in your videos. So remember, if you want to use a Kevin McLeod song, and I do recommend him, I pretty much use him in any of the videos that I have music in because the way he sets up his site, it just makes it so easy to use it and give him credit for the music that it's like, why wouldn't you? And that's probably why he's so popular. So remember, just find your song, hit more, get the attribution, copy it into the description of your video, and you're good to go. You won't have any more copyright issues as far as music goes. So I've been Chris. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, go for it. Like and subscribe, etc. And I'll see you in the next video.